Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is going to be an extended day of prayer, um, a little bit longer than our regular prayers. And the reason why that is is because this is a time and a season where more prayer needs to be released into the earth, not just for our own lives, but for what's going on in the nations and what our adversary is setting up to happen in the nations. There are some things that the power of prayer can mitigate. There are other things that we have to prepare ourselves to be able to be strong enough to go through. And so we're in a season of both of those things. And so we need to pray. Jesus said, man ought to always pray and not faint. And so if you have to sit down in order to pray, it's okay. The preference is that you pray, whether that's sitting down, standing up, kneeling, or however you pray best. But this is a urgent call for prayer, not just to hear prayer, but to actively engage in prayer, for you to release your spirit in synergy with the Holy Spirit for these prayers, because we are asking the Holy Spirit to lead us and to guide us into all prayer and into all truth. This is not a partisan prayer. It has nothing to do with politics. It just has to do with the kingdom of God. And so we have to align ourselves with the truth of the kingdom of God, not politics. And that is what is getting in the way of the true church rising up and taking its place to pray on behalf of the one that they represent, who is supposed to be the Lord Jesus Christ. And so as we begin to pray today, it is our hope that you will join in the prayers wholeheartedly. And so, Father, we thank you. We praise you for this opportunity to pray. On this Sunday, September 5th, 2021, the day before Labor Day, Father, there is so much going on in the earth. So much has been done by man. Some is by our adversary. But Lord, you have given authority to the true church to pray, either to go through with strength and power or to change the times and the seasons. For Lord, we know that our adversary always seeks to change times and seasons. From the book of Daniel, you tell us that, that his intent is to change times and seasons and to wear out the saints. But Father, we know from the New Testament that the Holy Spirit is our enabler. He is the one that can strengthen us with might by your spirit in our inner man so that Christ can dwell in our hearts by faith so that we can be rooted and grounded in love that we can know the love of Christ which passes all understanding and be filled with the fullness of God and God that is why we come to pray today because we want to be filled with all the fullness of God we want our hearts to remain in the spirit of Christ and in the spirit of love. God, with all of the philosophies that are going forth, white supremacy, critical race theory, critical gender theory, all that man is telling us to hate people because of their race, to hate people because of things done in the past, God, we know that that is a powerful spirit of mind control. And God, you said, I am love. And so, Father, those who truly follow after you cannot align themselves with any philosophy that says it is okay to hate. Father, your word has expressly told us to love our enemies, to bless them. 
that curse you. That is what your word says. And that's why your word was so radical coming in the time that it did. Because you presented a new paradigm. You presented a new construct. And God, it is time for the true church of God to pray, to begin to use the authority that you have given us along with the Holy Spirit. God, it is not flesh that prays and gets results, but it is spirit-inspired prayers led by the Holy Spirit praying in us and through us and for us that causes us to have effectual fervent prayers. Your word in the book of James tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. It makes tremendous power available, dynamic in his working. And Father, we've got to get back to the principles of prayer to be able to change things that are seemingly unchangeable, to move things that are seemingly unmovable with that with you, God, nothing is impossible. And so, Father, we just got to set our hope on you. He said, them that come to God. They must believe that he is God and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And Father, we're asking that you put a diligence in our spirit, a diligence to seek you, a diligence to search you out, a diligence to come to you, a diligence to be led by your spirit, a diligence, God. Father, we need to be diligent in this time and in this season, God. It is not business as usual, God. As we look at America and we look at America's decline on the world stage and the embarrassment that has come to our nation because of what happened in Afghanistan. Father, we can see the slide of things where America is now open to terrorist attacks with people coming in in our southern border, more refugees being brought in, no defenses anymore in Afghanistan, giving our weapons to terrorists, aligning ourselves to terrorists. God, there is much to pray about. Father, you have not given up on this nation. And Father, even though we're gonna have to go through some things, you have promised that you would not judge the righteous with the wicked, that you would protect the righteous, those who seek after you, those who are alert in the spirit, those who would put on strength and pray. And Father, we're praying today. Lord, we're praying for protection of Americans who are still in Afghanistan behind enemy lines, the church that is in Afghanistan. God, there is so much to pray for. A Christian found in Afghanistan is burned alive. That is what happens to them. And so, Father, we have to pray. We pray for our brothers and our sisters in Afghanistan that God, you would give them the strength and the ability to withstand or to escape. Father, we pray. Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to brood over our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan. We pray for them, God. We will not just forget them, but God, we ask that a prayer shield be placed around them in the name of Jesus. In addition to the other Americans that are there and the Afghans who helped America. Father, this is a critical time. We pray for our nation, even as 9-11 is coming around the corner next week, that, Lord, you would build a hedge of protection around America. Father, that the blood covenant of Jesus Christ would cover this nation from the north, 
the south, the east, and the west, that you would cover this nation, God. Let your blood cover. Let your blood cover. Let there be a hedge of protection. We raise altars of dedication over America to the Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father, through the Holy Spirit. Father, we pray for protection. We pray, God, for scattering of every plot, plan, scheme, and working uh, of those who would desire to destroy and hurt this nation, God. We pray, God, that the counsel of the Lord will stand over America, that the counsel of the Lord will stand over America, Father God, that every satanic prediction, projection, utterance, unscriptural prayer, every pronostication, every stargazer's report, every occultic prayer, God, let it be brought down through the power and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, who's been given a name above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, of things in heaven and in earth, and things under the earth. Father, we pray. Oh God, give us protection in this nation. Father, we know that terrorists have come through the southern border. They caught 100 of them. We know that terrorists have tried to come with the Afghan refugees. They caught them uh, on the plane before they could get here. So we know there's an agenda against our nation. And so, Father, we come in the realm of the Spirit, and we ask you, God, to protect this nation. Protect this nation, Lord. Protect this nation. Oh, God, it must be the prayers of the righteous that come and that ascend in the realm of the Spirit. We must begin to ascend in the realm of the spirit. And we must begin to put on strength and begin to declare the decrees of the Lord. We must begin to seek the face of God for our protection and the protection of our nation. For God has divinely set us in America. And now we must begin to use our voice to pray for this nation. To intercede. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. The hands of the righteous can deliver this nation. Yes, God. Yes, Father, we thank you so much for what you're doing. And Lord, for every person represented here and anyone who hears this recording, God, we raise an altar of protection over them. That you would protect them. You will protect their families from terrorist attacks, from COVID, from the spirit of death itself, from violence that is running rampant in our nation. A young boy, four years old, sleeping in his home, is killed by a bullet. And his mother injured from the glass in Chicago. It's only you who can guard us. Unless the Lord guards the city, those who watch, watch in vain. We're praying, God, for you to be a watcher. That you would assign watchers over our lives. That you have watchers to watch over our lives, to watch over our family, to watch and guard us, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you so much, Father. We put our trust in you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved, and they are safe. We run into your name today, Lord. We trust you, God. We trust you, God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Father, we pray for the Holy Spirit to give 
give divine direction to us in these times. We lean upon the Holy Spirit. And Father, with that, we're going to go into the prayer point that we have. In Romans 8, 26, and again, you can be seated, those who are here. In Romans 8, 26, the Passion Translation. And in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. For example, at times we don't even know how to pray or know the best thing to ask for. But the Holy Spirit rises up within us to speak for intercede. Pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. God, the searcher of our heart, of the heart, knows fully our longing. Yet he also understands the desires of the Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit passionately pleads before God for us, his holy ones in perfect harmony with God's plan and our destiny. Oh God. So our first prayer point today oh God. is Holy Spirit. We ask you to lead and to guide us in our prayers yes. to align them with the will, plan, and purpose of God. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. You told us through Jesus Christ that I will send another who will be a comforter, a standby, a paraclete, a teacher, an advocate. And he will lead and guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of himself, but he will speak of me. He'll take from me and give unto you. And so, Father, on today, we ask, Lord, for that precious gift of the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us to lead us and to guide us in our prayers. Father, we pray for our prayers today to align with the will, the plan, and the purpose of God. Your word tells us that the Holy Spirit will empower us, and the Holy Spirit will pray through us. As Father, we pray for that alignment with your will that comes through the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit knows your desire, and the Holy Spirit prays passionately. God, we receive a new anointing from the Holy Spirit. We receive a new anointing. A new anointing of empowerment from the Holy Spirit. A new anointing from the Holy Spirit to pray. A new anointing from the Holy Spirit to stir up the gifts of God within us. A new anointing for the Holy Spirit to produce fruit in our lives. A new anointing that the Holy Spirit will feel every layer of our soul, our minds, our wills, our emotions, our intellect, our imagination, our personality, everything, and our inner man. Oh, Father, we pray and we receive the Holy Spirit according to the riches of your glory. Strengthen us us. with might by your spirit in our inner man. Holy Spirit, we honor you as the one sent by God, the one Jesus prophesied would come. And we pray, Holy Spirit, for a Pentecost experience. For when you came to the apostles, you came and you sat upon them with tongues that appeared as fire. And God, you sent a 
holy hush, uh, a sound from heaven uh, that came in like a rushing mighty wind. wind. Yeah. And God, we pray that either here or in our home, the Holy Spirit would send that same sound, yeah. that same empowerment, yeah. that holy hush yeah. to be still and know Hallelujah. Hallelujah. that I am God. I am still in control. You are our Lord. You are. I am yes. in control. Yes, God. Yes, God. We receive the Holy Spirit the Holy into this place. We receive the sounds of heaven. Even as Apostle Francis has been teaching us, we have to teach ourselves to position ourselves to hear from heaven the sounds of heaven. Father, we position ourselves on today to receive from you the sounds of heaven. We position ourselves to hear the voice of the Lord. For the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar into pieces. The voice of the Lord causes the calf to give birth. The voice of the Lord is both destructive and full of life. Father, we thank you. Let your voice be released into our lives. Let your voice be released into America. Let your voice be released amongst the nation. Let your voice be released in Africa, in Asia, in the Soviet Union, in China, in Europe. Let your voice be released into South America. Let your voice be released into Australia, into New Zealand. Be released throughout the earth. The voice of the Lord. It is powerful. It is majestic. God let the Holy Spirit activate a release of the voice of the Lord. Let the voice of the Lord be released in this nation. Let it begin to send a reverberation through the nation. Yes, God. Vibration from heaven. Let the vibration yes. of heaven yes. begin to reorder yes. and begin to disrupt yes. the plans of the enemy, yes. God. Let your voice yes. begin to vibrate and shake up the strongholds that have been built up over the nation, God. Let your voice and Lord, everything that we're battling in our own individual lives, let your voice reverberate and begin to break up the attacks of the enemy in our mind against our lives, God. Let there be a reverberation that shakes like an earthquake and brings the order in God. We pray, God, that it is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit only, who can do this. He told the angel that came to John D. Lake that it's the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit only who can bring conviction to man. And it is the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit only who can wage effective warfare. Because the Holy Spirit was there when darkness was over the face of the earth. But the Holy Spirit brooded over the waters. And we know that the voice of the Lord brooded over the waters. And God, we pray that even as the Holy Spirit began to move in the midst of darkness over the face of the earth in the book of Genesis, that the Holy Spirit would move through the darkness that we are facing at this time. Holy Spirit, we surrender to you. We yield to you. You are the commander. You are the instructor. You are the teacher. You are the one. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. 
We do not take the Holy Spirit for granted. We will not grieve the Holy Spirit, but we will partner with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit being our leader, being our commander, being our instructor. In Jesus' name. And even as we pray, we pray your word from Matthew 16, that thy kingdom come, yes. thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Yes. That is the King James version. The Passion Translation says, manifest your kingdom realm and call your every purpose to be fulfilled on earth just as it is in oh, heaven. God. And Father, our prayer point is may the kingdom realm of God manifest itself on the earth. Father, we pray, even as Jesus taught the disciples to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we pray for your kingdom to come. We pray for your will to be done. We pray for the kingdom realm to manifest itself in the earth. But Father, in order for that to happen, you have to have those who will go into the realm of the spirit through prayer and supplication and the Holy Spirit revealing to us what is going on in the kingdom realm. And as we see, we pray. As we see, we release. As we see, we use the key of the kingdom to release into the earth. We pray, Father God, that kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Not our kingdom come. Yes, Lord. Your kingdom come. Yes, God. Yes, Not our Lord. will be done. Your will be done, Lord. Your heart. On earth huh. as it is in heaven. Ooh. And Father, we know that in heaven there is righteousness, yes. there is peace, yes. there is joy, yes. there is health, justice. Yes. there is justice, Hallelujah. divine justice. Yes, God. And your throne is huh. even established Hallelujah. on mercy and justice. And we thank you, Father, that as we pray, we will see those come back oh, into the earth. For let the enemy's encroachment huh. upon justice, huh. upon mercy, Jesus. upon love Jesus. be bound be in the bound. name of Jesus. Yeah. And let your kingdom realm be released into the earth yeah. like never before yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. And when we talk about manifesting the kingdom realm, there's an ascension that has to happen. Hebrews 12, 22 to 33. But you have come to Mount Zion yes. and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to the myriad of angels in festive gathering, and to the general assembly and the assembly of the firstborn who are registered as citizens in heaven, and to God who is the judge of all, and to the spirit of the righteous, yes. the redeemed in heaven, yes. who have made perfect bringing them to their final glory and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, uniting God in man and to the sprinkled blood, which speaks of mercy, which speaks of mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A better and more nobler and more gracious message than the blood of Abel, which cried out for vengeance. And our prayer point that the Holy Spirit would grant us entry into the Zion realm to see what heaven is doing to pray for it on the earth. Father, you have told us to come, but you have come to Mount Zion. Father, it is an access granted for those who will come and will seek to rise into a new realm, into the realm of God's kingdom, into the realm of God, for those who seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, you will allow us to ascend. We can come boldly to the throne of grace and find mercy and grace to help in time of need, but beyond finding help, there's a realm 
There's a realm where angels are. There's a realm, God, the city of the living God. There's a realm where the blood is speaking. There's a realm where God, the judge of all is. There's a realm where Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, who unites God with man. Yes, God. Father, that is the realm. We come, Lord. Lord, we come, we to, come that realm. to that realm. We will not run away <laughs> like the children of Israel. <laughs> when you gave them the invitation <laughs> to come up to the mountain, <laughs> they said, we can't go into the presence of oh God. My God. Otherwise, we'll die. Oh my God. Which we know was a lie <laughs> because they still live even in saying that. <laughs> He said, you go up for us, Moses, and we will do what he tells us. Moses didn't die. Moses told them what to do, and they still didn't do it. Father, there's something about one-on-one -on -one personal relationship with Jesus Christ that takes away fear. Because I have not given you a spirit of fear. I've given you power. I've given you love. I've given you a sound mind. I've given you the ability to enter in. Because we have all been raised together to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have been called kings and priests unto our God. And the blood has washed us so we can have access to God the Father and to this realm. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Father, we pray. Oh, Jesus. Grant us access. Grant us access, Lord. The question is, will you come? And Father, as to the King's Court, we say we yes. Come, Lord. We, we come, come Lord. to the city of the living God, come, to the heavenly Jerusalem, Lord. so that we can see what heaven wants on earth. Thank you, Jesus. And then we can pray. And then we can pray. Oh, Jesus God. Not our will. But your will be done from the heavenly perspective. We have to have a heavenly perspective. Not our will, but your will be done as it is in heaven. Let it be on earth. Encountered with angels. Yes, God. Encountered with angels. Thank you, Jesus. Release your angels, Lord. Into the earth. Release your angels. Into the earth. Release your angels. Let the blood speak. Yes. Let your blood speak. Let your blood on speak, earth. oh God. Yes. Your blood Lord speaks Jesus. better things yes. than the blood of Abel. Lord your Jesus. blood cries out <laughs> for mercy, oh not vengeance. Oh God. We pray for your mercy to be released into the earth. Let your mercy be released into the earth. The mercy upon even those doing evil. Your mercy upon those, God, who are even in governmental positions, who are carrying out the plans of our adversary. Let mercy be released upon them. Let conviction be released upon them. Let salvation be released upon them. Let the Holy Spirit begin to brood over them. And let the blood of Jesus that testifies of Jesus Christ, let the blood speak. Let your blood speak. The sound of the blood. Let your blood speak. Let your blood speak. Yes, God. Let your blood speak. Let your blood speak in the earth. Hallelujah. Let your blood speak, especially over America. Oh, my God. Father, you have 
a desire for America. And Lord, because the church did not pray, wow. you warned the king's court yes, that everything we see happening now yes, was going to happen. Yes, you yes. said for us to pray. Yes. Yeah. Disaster. To raise altars of yep, your presence. Yep, 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 yep. Altars of dedication to you. Because the enemy was coming in. Aggressive you said it like a tsunami. Yes. That he was coming in. That's right. And that we had to pray. Oh God. Oh God. The Lord, the church didn't pray. Oh, oh my God. And so, Father, oh, that would could have been mitigated, but not done. But Father, to the extent huh. that we can mitigate and change, we raise new altars oh, of dedication to the Lord Mercy Jesus God, Christ, God, God the Father, the Holy Spirit, Mercy over God. America. To the north, the south, the east, the west, yes, over every state and every territory, uh, we declare that you belong to God, yes, that the earth is the earth Lord. Lord. It has never been forfeited to you since Jesus Christ took Woo. it back. Yeah. Hey, yeah. we re raise altars. Lord, we pray yes. that altars of the blood would speak in the heavens, in the earth, in the underworld, in the underseas, yes. in the matrix of the earth, yes. in the red dragon's kingdom, yes. in the water kingdom, yes. in every realm, yes. even the realms we don't see. Oh, we raise new altars of the blood covenant of yes. Jesus Christ. Let the blood speak in every realm. Let the sound of God be released in every realm. Let the voice of the Lord be released in every realm. God. Yes, Lord. To cause a reverberation. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. God, we have to be like those who are in Hebrews 11. We have to stay in faith all the way to the end. Whether we see it with our eyes, they died believing the promises of God. And so it has to be with us. We may see on the news more things happening. But as for me and my house, we will believe the testimony, the account of the Lord. And we will raise altars over our homes of dedication to the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit. And Father, we know from Psalms 24, 1 and 2, the earth is the Lord, yes, yes. and the fullness thereof, yes. the world, and they that dwell therein. Jesus. For he hath founded it upon the seas, Jesus. and established it upon the floods. Jesus. And we must always remember that the earth belongs to God. Yes. He has not given it over to our adversary. Yes. It belongs to him. Yes. He created it. He established it. Yes. He Lord over it. Father, we thank you. We can pray from a position of the word of God. Because even if the enemy says that Adam gave me the key to the, to, to the earth, we can say, Jesus, the second Adam, took your keys away and bound you in the name of Jesus to reestablish our authority and territory Hallelujah. over the earth. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. And Father, we know the Passion Translation says in Psalms 115, 16, the heavens belong to our God. They are his alone. But he has given us the earth and put us in charge. And we've got to act like we're in charge. Oh, my God. We've got to pray over the earth like we are in charge. Oh we've got to pray God. over the earth, not like the adversary is in oh charge. So God. many people who are in the body of Christ who have relinquished their authority and said, oh, the, the prince of the power of the air, he controls the earth. Oh 
but the word of God says God has given us charge. Jesus. There are two conflicting camps. The world has taken its position. They realize this principle more than we do. That's right. Yep. So righteousness uh, can be asserted in the earth, even when wickedness is being asserted in the earth. Oh, God wants the righteous to arise and act like they're in charge. Yeah. And so, Father, on today we repent. When we have not prayed over the earth and acted as if we have authority to pray over the earth, it belongs to you. And you've given us authority over it. And Father, we will not sit by and just say, oh, adversary, you can have it. Hell, no. We're saying no to hell. You cannot have the earth. You put a remnant in the earth. We are the light of the world. Hey! A city set upon a hill. It cannot be hidden if we take our place. We got to take our place. Church, we've got to take our place. We've got to take our place in the earth. God put us here for a reason. To be a light, to be salt, to release righteousness into the earth. Jesus. Stop siding with the wicked. Stop siding with the wicked. Align yourselves with me and begin to pray over the earth like never before. Hallelujah. 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 You've given authority to your church. Matthew 16, 16 and 17. Passion translation says, Simon Peter spoke up and said, You are the anointed one, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, you are favored and privileged, Simon, son of Jonah, for you didn't discover this on your own, but my Father in heaven has supernaturally revealed it to you. Prayer point, may God reveal his son Jesus to us by the spirit of revelation. God, we pray that there would be a release of an anointing to know Christ, not by just mere words, but a visitation and a revelation yes, of who Christ is, yes, that Christ, who he is, the son of the living oh, God, God, the one with all power and authority, yes. the one who walked on the waters, yes, the one God. who is said to have all power will be revealed to us. The one who's been given a name that's above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and earth and things under the earth. That's the revelation we want, not the revelation of a picture of him with long flowing hair or a picture of him as a baby in a manger with no power. But we want to know the glorified Christ, yes. the one who rose Hallelujah. from the dead. Hallelujah. Yes. The one who is the resurrection yes. and the life. Yes. The one who is life itself. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. That's the Christ we want to know. The true and living Christ. Reveal. 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 Hallelujah. Ah. Reveal. Hallelujah. Reveal. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that you would reveal Christ to us. We want to know the real Christ. We don't want a religious Christ. We want the Christ who is king of the kingdom. We want the Christ who is king of kings and lord of lords. We want the Christ who is filled with power.
and majesty. Yeah. The Christ that we see in Revelation, yeah. whose eyes yeah. were like fire. Yeah. The one who has the sword coming out of his mouth, yeah. not to kill us, because we are the flesh being made the word. Yeah. We want to know the one who encapsulated the fullness of God as we're told in Hebrews 1. The one whom you speak through Jesus. in this time. The one who the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The one who said in the volume of the book, it is written of me to do your will. The one who when the pressure came on and he was in the garden of Gethsemane, he shed tears as of blood, but he still said, nevertheless, nevertheless. not my will, but thy will be done. Yeah. The one who despised the shame for the glory set before him. That is the Christ that we want to know. We have to be acquainted with his sufferings. And we will suffer too, but we will also carry his glory. Father, we thank you. Let us be transformed from glory to glory. Let us have that transcending glory. Transcendent glory, yes. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Yes. On today, if we've not known you in your true self, we pray for the revelation of who you are to be revealed to us by the Father. Jesus said, Peter, you didn't get this on your own. And that's what we've got to get to. We don't get it on our own, but the Father. Abba Father has revealed it unto us. Oh, Father, we ask for deeper revelation of who Christ is. Give us deeper revelation. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Give us deeper revelation of who Christ is. We want to know you, Jesus. We want to know you, Jesus. In spirit and truth. In spirit and truth. We want to know you. We want to know you. Hallelujah. One-on-one -on -one relationship with you. Not religion, not tradition, not the God of my grandmother, but the God who I know. Deeper revelation. We want to know you, Jesus. So we can be transformed from glory to glory. That we can be the ones who come into the full measure of the stature of Christ. That is the purpose of ministry. Ephesians 4, that you would cause them to grow into the full measure and stature of Christ. Not your idol, not your kingdom, but the kingdom of God. We thank you so much, God. Father, we ask that you reveal Jesus, Jesus. Christ by the spirit of revelation, just like you did to Peter. If we don't know him, we ask for a release of the spirit of revelation. Father, release the spirit of revelation to know your son to know your son, 
We want to know you, Lord Jesus. When it's all said and done, we want to be able to stand before you yes. in the spirit of truth. Oh, Father, even if we didn't serve you in our youth, we can still come. We can still come. We can still come to know you, to know you, to know you. Father, pour out the revelation of your son. Pour out the revelation of your son. Pour out the revelation of your son that we might know him. I and the Father are one. Yeah. I and the Father are one. Jesus had to correct the disciples because they didn't really want to know him. They kept saying, show us the Father, show yeah. us the Father. And Jesus said, yeah. if you oh, know Mama. me, yeah. you have met the Father. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Because in the Son, all the fullness of the Godhead dwells mightily. Oh, God. You have met the Father when you met me. You met the Father when you met me. You can't bypass me to go straight to the Father. Hey! You can't bypass me. But you gotta come to me. Yeah. Oh God. Oh Father, we come to the Son. We ask for the revelation of who he is so we can truly come to the true Son. Not what religion has said about him. Not that baby in a manger who has no power. Because Satan wishes he could stay in a manger. Yeah. Because he would never grow up to crush him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We uh, receive you, Jesus. Receive you, Lord. Yeah. We receive the revelation yes, of Jesus Christ yeah. in Jesus' name. And then in Matthew 16, 18, it says, I give you the name, Peter, a stone. And this rock will be the bedrock foundation on which I build my church, my legislative assembly, and the power of death will not be able to overpower it. Our prayer point is the Holy Spirit reveal to us yes. this bedrock foundation of Jesus Christ upon which to build his church. Yes. Father, we pray yes, Lord. that as we minister oh, and we build the church, sure. that there is no other foundation that God, any man can lay than that which is already laid, yes. which is Christ Jesus. Father, we pray that our salvation rests upon the bedrock of that foundation of Jesus Christ, and that the King's Court and other churches are built upon the revelation of who Christ is, who Christ is, not who pastor is, not who denomination is, not who headquarters says, but Jesus Christ, the revelation of who he is because that is the revelation that is the bedrock foundation upon which the gates of hell shall not prevail hell will not prevail against Christ because he is the resurrection and the life death will never overpower him because he's already overpowered death and took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. So even if we, when we die or transition on this earth, death never has a hold on us because we merely transition through the power of the one who has an endless life. Dead. Lord, we thank you.
Hallelujah. We build the king's court. Apostle Francis always says, come on, the revelation of who Christ is, that's what the king's court is built upon. Matthew 16, 19, and I will give you the keys of heaven's kingdom realm to forbid on earth that which is forbidden in heaven and to release on earth that which is released in heaven. And our next prayer point, may the Holy Spirit reveal to us the keys of the kingdom to bind and to loose with. It's not what we think. It's what heaven is saying. Holy Spirit, take us into those realms where we can see, activate visions, even as Apostle Francis yeah, has been praying for God. the activation yes. of visions, that we will come to visions of God, that we will begin to see what is going on in heaven, and as heaven begins to inform us in our spirit, we'll be able to get the keys of the kingdom to begin to bind and to lose us. There's some things we know that righteousness is in heaven, peace is in heaven, love is in heaven, joy is in heaven. And so we can loose those things in the earth. We know that hatred is not in heaven. And so we can bind it. We know that sickness and disease is not in heaven. And so we can bind it. We know that violence is not in heaven. And so, Father, we can bind it. And, Father, the keys that we know of, we take the opportunity today over America to bind the spirit of violence, the spirit of death that is coming through murder and coming through COVID. We bind you in the name of Jesus Christ by the authority of the risen Christ who has given it to his church and we lose the spirit of love we bind hatred God is love and Father we pray that all of these things that are causing division in our nation would be bound because they are not of the kingdom and we sit as your legislative assembly and we decree the will the plan, the purpose of God in America and over the nation, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in Australia, in Afghanistan. May the true and living God appear in Afghanistan. Father, we pray. And Lord, we pray over our troops that were in Afghanistan, who were sitting ducks. Oh my God. We pray, God, that you would heal any trauma they suffered. Yes. In the name of Jesus. And we pray for the gold star families that lost those 13 servicemen. God, the spirit of bitterness has already begun to form in some. We pray for healing. Yes, God. We pray for healing. For healing. Lord, heal those families yes, who are trusting in the U.S. government oh, no. to get their sons and daughters out. They were looking for the U.S. government to protect them. And it failed. Oh, my God. Now, Father, we pray for the blood that they shed, ah. that it will speak. Jesus. It will speak it for speak. mercy. It will speak for peace. It will speak for righteousness. And it will speak for conviction on the hearts of those who allow wickedness yes. and pride yes. and greed yes. and lust yes. to drive oh, them. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. We pray for those families. Heal their hearts. Heal their hearts. Heal their hearts. 
almost all of those who lost their life were just in their 20s. Huh. There were a couple of exceptions. Jesus. One was about to get married. One was having a baby. Huh. His wife was having a baby in three weeks. He'll never see that child. Huh. Heal their hearts. Heal their hearts. Now we pray. Oh. Angels that give comfort. Jesus. Be released. Be released. Heal their hearts. And Father, the families of those Americans who are still stranded ah. behind enemy lines, who face an almost certain death if nothing is done. Give ways of escape. Ways of escape, God. Give ways of escape, ways Lord. Ways of escape, Lord. Yes. Give ways of escape. Open their eyes to see, God. Open their eyes to ways see. Ways of escape. Ways of escape. Yes, God. Let yes, other God. countries come oh, to their Lord. rescue. Oh, God. Help, oh, Lord. May America wake yes, up and help them. Yes, God. Father, for all the terrorists who came in ah, Jesus. freely with the assistance of Jesus. America, we pray, oh my God. Lord, oh my that God. their plans will be thwarted and frustrated, that you would frustrate yes. the devices of the wicked. Yes, God. Hey! Frustrate, oh God. Frustrate. And those who have come into the southern border, oh, Jesus. for which thousands of children are now missing being trafficked being used oh sex slaves sex slaves jesus lord with the consent of our government oh my god oh my god father we pray mercy oh my god oh lord we pray mercy mercy god we pray mercy mercy lord mercy we pray mercy upon America. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That God, you would give us mercy. <laughs> you tried to speak. You tried to speak. Cancel. But people canceled. just shut canceled, down. shut down. Oh, my God. Came against, Jesus. attacked. Jesus. They didn't want oh, righteousness. They didn't want to hear it. They didn't oh. want to hear it. Oh, God. Now have mercy. Because only in about a year or so will we see the fullness of what has happened. God, we pray that you would reverse course. Oh God. That you would reverse course. Jesus. You would help this nation. Have mercy on America. Have mercy. Your mercy, mercy God. it endures forever. Yeah. When you have a praying church, the mercy of the Lord can be extended. The hands of the innocent can deliver even the guilty. We cry out for mercy, Lord. We cry out for mercy, Lord. Mercy, 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 mercy. Lord, have mercy on America mercy, Lord. Mercy, and teach us, Lord, mercy, God. how to use the mercy, keys Lord. of the kingdom. Mercy, Lord. Holy Spirit, help us to see from mercy, heaven's Lord. vision, mercy, Lord. to bind and to loose mercy, from heaven's perspective, Jesus. not from our own fleshly perspective. We thank you so much. Yes, God. And Father, your word in Isaiah 56, oh, 6, B, 7 says, I make this promise. Yeah. I will welcome you into my holy ah, mountain hallelujah. and make you joyful in my house of hallelujah. prayer. Hallelujah. I will accept every sacrifice Jesus. and offering that you place on my altar. For now. my yes, house God. of worship yes. will be known as a Ooh. house of prayer yes. for yes. all people. Lord. Yes. Yes, and Father, we pray. Oh God. And Lord, you will Come receive our prayer. Yes, God. Oh, hallelujah. 
As we pray over the nations, we ask you to receive our prayer as a holy offering unto you. Father, receive our prayer over the nations. Let your spirit be released over the nations. Every nation, let the Holy Spirit tabernacle over the nation, every nation, every nation is your desire, God, to save every nation. From every nation, you'll have a remnant. Remnant, Lord, yes. We release salvation yes, over the nation. Yes, God, yes, Lord. Holy yes. Spirit, brood. Brood. Holy brood. Spirit, move. Brood. Yes. Over the nation. Over the nation. Release the voice of the Lord. Thank you, God. Over release the, the sound of heaven. Yes over every nation yes, Lord. that your house will be called yes, a house of prayer yes, for every nation yes, and every people group god we repent for the sins of the nations against you give them revelation that they can know the true and living god because many do not know you they know religion. They know tradition. God, let a true spirit of repentance yes. be released yes. into the earth. Let the voice of the Lord release a spirit of repentance throughout the entire earth. Yes, God. Because the earth belongs to you. It belongs to you, God. The world and they oh, that dwell sisters. therein. Yes. You desire for people to come to know you. Even your prayers in Timothy. Pray for those who are in authority. Yes. Pray for all people. Yes. Why? That they may come oh, to know the me. Yes. The knowledge of the truth. Yes, God. Let the spirit of truth be released into the earth. There is so much deception in the earth. Let the Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of Truth, be released into the nations. Yes. Yes. Especially in America. Yes. Spirit of Truth. Yes. Tabernacle over this nation. Go into the school system, the universities that are attempting to indoctrinate yes. people into hatred, yes. into socialism, oh into communism, oh into all kinds of things, uh, gender oh transformation, yes. and all kinds of things being taught in education. Oh yes. Let the spirit of truth uh, rise yes. up uh, in the educational yes. system. Yes. Let the spirit of mind control be bound in the name of oh Jesus. Oh and the spirit Truth be released. released in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes, God. Oh, and Father, this is for us. Luke twenty-one thirty-six. But keep alert at all times. Be attentive and ready, praying that you may have the strength and ability wow. to be found worthy. And to escape all these things My God. that are going to take place. Jesus. And to stand in the presence oh, of the God. Son of Man at his coming. Oh, God. Father, we pray. We pray
the service. That we will yes. have the strength oh, and ability yes. to be found worthy. Yes. Give us strength and ability, Lord, that we may be found worthy yes. to escape. Yes. God, you even yes. said when temptation comes, you would give us a way of escape. You will give us ways of escape. Your word has been tried seven times. You give us seven ways of escape from the enemy. And God, we pray that we will be able to know what the ways of escape are. And we would be able to take the proper escape route at the right time. God, we pray our eyes would be open, our spirit would be alert, God, yes, God. and we would escape everything yes, that's going to take place Hallelujah. so that we can stand yes, in the presence of the Son of Man at His coming. Yes, we don't know what that is, oh, God. but we will tarry to you come. Receive the strength. Building ourselves up. Yes. In our most holy faith. In our most holy faith. Yes, God. Yes. God. yes God. Being strengthened. Yes. Being strengthened. Might. With power mind. and might. Yes, God. Yes. Supernatural ability. That comes from the Holy oh, Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we yield. We yield to you. That we may be found worthy. So there's some kind of testing. Yeah. That we may be found worthy. Found worthy. To escape. The mercy. As we seek you. As we seek you. Jesus, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that the church would stay alert, that every individual would stay alert. May we be found worthy. May we be found worthy. Worthy. To escape. And to stand before you. In the spirit of truth. That we would become the word of God. Hallelujah. May flesh. Yes. May flesh. Thank you, Lord. No, we are the flesh be being made, made, the, made word. the word. Hallelujah. And you are the word be that made. came in the flesh. Hallelujah. So, Father, we pray Thank you, Lord Jesus. that we would be like Jesus, Hallelujah. carriers of your glory, you, carriers of your word, yes. carriers of your spirit. We thank you for this opportunity to pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading our prayers, for being in our prayers, for releasing our prayers into the earth. Thy kingdom come. Yes, God. Thy will be done on earth yes, as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Let your kingdom realm yes. manifest itself in the earth. Hallelujah. God, you gave us a prophetic promise at the beginning of the year that we would see the advancement of your kingdom. Thank you, Lord. And God, we pray ah. to see yes, the, the advancement, advancement of your of kingdom. kingdom in the earth. Yes, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.